I give you YouTubers a lot of credit. I could not continue to edit all of those videos, but I'm back. And what better way to come back than with a series on my boob job journey. So yes, hello, my name is Abby Fickley. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, um, here on YouTube. If you don't already subscribe, please go ahead and do so. Give me a like, um, whatever, because I'm here to take you on my journey in getting a boob job as somebody who is sober in recovery. Um, one of the biggest things I noticed along this journey was I had a little bit of a hard time finding other women's experiences and opinions, especially people in sobriety. So I figured it could be something extremely helpful to anybody who might not even necessarily want to get one, but just has questions. So yeah, we'll obviously go over a lot more of that today, but at least we got a little overview done on the phone. So I don't have prices for you yet. I don't have a date of the surgery yet. That will all be coming with this appointment today. Here's what I have so far. Um, I was told to bring a tight fitted shirt along with a sports bra. This is gonna ensure that when we like place different sizes um, and I look at it, I can really get a feel for what I want and what I think looks best on me. Um, I personally have no boobs. I don't have speed bumps, I have bee stings. I'm 26 years old, no matter how much I weigh, this is what my boobs look like. I cannot fill out a 32A. When I tell you guys I have to have a bra with padding in it, otherwise I will not fill out the smallest bra that they sell. I fit into training bras, which is great. I get them cheaper. I've always wanted a boob job. I have finally you know, spent quite a bit of time saving up money to do this. It's really important that you do your research. It's really important that you don't do this um, sporadically uh, because there's a lot that could go wrong and it could lead to needing more surgeries, which is more money. If you have something rupture, if you have something go wrong with surgery, they don't just fix it for free. Insurance doesn't just cover it. You are paying for another surgery. Um, there's risks all the time. People try to tell you that, oh, get saline. There's no risks with saline. There are risks with silicone. There are risks with saline. There are risks with these gummy bear implants. There are risks with everything. Surgeons know a lot, but one thing that is always unsure is how your body may react to a surgery. And that is something that you sign away, right? So there's a lot to look into. This is an investment. This isn't a one-time payment. So essentially all I'm saying is do your research, take your time. This is a lifelong thing. It doesn't need to happen overnight. I know it's exciting. I know you want to be impulsive, but please take your time. Um, regretting this or, or taking the quick or the cheap route could lead to a very expensive situation that you don't want to be in. So what am I bringing to my consultation? Um, there were a bunch of papers that they had sent to my email. I printed those and I filled those out. Again, I think that's essentially a time saver to give you more time with the surgeon to talk. Um, also, like I said, a tight fitting shirt so that you can kind of like see what you like. In addition to the tight fitting shirt, they asked me to bring a sports bra. So paperwork, sports bra, tight fitting shirt, I brought a list of questions. That's just something I personally decided to do. I highly recommend you do that. Take the time, uh, write down all the questions you have. It's really easy to forget when you're actually there because there's a lot going on. It's overwhelming and exciting. So I have a list of questions. I have my calendar. Um, and then I just have a folder and it's gonna be the folder that I keep all of the paperwork regarding this procedure. So. That's all I have on me. Obviously, you wanna bring your ID, your insurance card, things like that you don't wanna forget. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, guys. We're ready to go. So I'm gonna go in there, and I will update you when I'm all done. Wish me luck. It's weird that I'm even saying this right now, but I am on my way to a breast augmentation consultation. I still don't feel like this is real. It's obviously something I have wanted my entire life. I have had, you know, when God handed boobs out to all the ladies, he just skipped over me, which is fine. Thank God for surgeons, medicine, all of these cosmetic things. Thank you, Lord. 
I'm a self-sabotager. I'm in sobriety, which is another reason I thought this would be fun to bring you guys along with this journey. Um, so I like to believe that there is just no way something this great could possibly happen for me. Um, but I think it might. I think it might be happening. And that is because I worked extremely hard to get myself to this place. So I would love to bring you guys along. I would love to answer any questions that you guys might have. I am an open book. I myself tried to do my research and there's not as much, much out there as I thought there would be um, in terms of other people's experiences, especially people in sobriety. So I'm here for you. I got you. I'm pumped. Let's do this. Let's get some boobies.